No one likes to admit it, but almost every homeowner gets a mouse in their house this time of year. The weather is getting cooler, and they're looking for a warm place to spend the winter. Here to help us deal with these unwelcome visitors is Andy Amrine of EV True Value Hardware in Bethel Park. It is. It's kind of unfortunate, and I always yep. feel bad because well, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Them. Well, you don't have to. Okay, good. You, you don't have to, but this time of year, November. I mean, it says right there, kills house mice. Yes. <laughs> that feels it's, so bad. You could, you could poison them. You could trap them. You could repel them. You could catch them and let them go. There's all sorts of things you could okay. do. So you're depending help us. on on your what preference. on what you want to do, and it's your preference on it. But yes, what you're looking at first, these are these are poisons, okay. and the way the old time poison was, the packs you just open it up. And it was open to any critter, any house pet, any kids, or anything to do it. But now with the changes, uh, when you have poison, the poison is in cubes. But to put the poison out, you have to have these self-contained packs. So that way, the mice are going to get in there and eat it. They're going to be attracted to it by the scent. But your dogs, your cats, your children, not nobody to else it. is going to get to the poison itself. So it's a lot safer way of using. It's all self-contained, but, you know, it's a new type of poison. And, you know, you can see it's a little green color and so mm -hmm. forth in there. So these are pre-done traps or you can get it, uh, you know, the bulk packs to rebate them and so forth. But that's your traditional poison where they eat it and they die and that's the end of it. Okay. <sighs> you also have <laughs> traps that you can live and release it. This is a type of catch and release trap. It's a large one where you put it out. Then when they crawl through the center hole, mm -hmm. there's one on each side, they get stuck in there and you're supposed to look at it every day. And once they're in there to release it, you're just sliding the cover back open and you're letting them out. Just now, not in your neighbor's yard. Just, well, you're, as long as it's not in your house, right. <laughs> you let them out anywhere you want to let them out, and that's a way of catching them, catch and release okay. type of trap with it. One of my favorite is a repellent. It's called Mouse Magic, and you could smell that. It's spearmint and Ooh. peppermint oil. It's pretty strong. It is pretty but strong. But this is just spearmint and peppermint oil, it'll so it's not, away. it'll keep you away. It keeps, keeps your nostrils clean. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this is known to be very bothersome to rodents. Okay. And so it's not just mice, but it's rats, it's chipmunks, squirrels, bats, anything in that family. And you can, you know, put a couple of these packs in your garage, garage up in your attic, in your shed, in any vehicles you're storing for the winter, Find the place and in. right, yeah. and it repels them, it chases them away. So you put those in your attic or in your garage, you're not going to have any mice for two to three months. Okay. So it's a nice, safe way, and that it doesn't work. bother, you know, cats, it doesn't bother dogs, it doesn't bother kids, humans, anything like that, because it's spearmint and peppermints on it. And then you get into your electronic. Uh, noise makers. These are the ones that put out that sonic sound. These are electric. You just plug them in and what it does is it chases them away by a sonic wave, a sonic sound and so forth. Does this bother it. dogs? Because I know they yeah. have supersonic hearing too. But no, it doesn't bother okay. the dogs, cats, kids, you know, husbands, anything like that on it. So it just puts out that sonic wave. Okay. It, it's okay. I found this is the best way to repel it. And then you get into other types of traps. Mm. This is an electronic one. They go in and they get electrocuted. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> th this is one where you, you take the trap and you set it and then they crawl in. And then when they crawl in, it closes and you dispose of it, but it doesn't kill them. It just catches them. Oh, good. And, okay, you know, or of course you have all your traditional type of snap traps and Be rat traps and ah! you know, oh. where it just catches them and goes <laughs> or there's the jaw type ones mm -hmm. um, which are a lot easier to set uh, you know instead of using springs and so forth but it's still, ah! oh my gosh I just broke your pen it just shattered the pen oh, you know, boy. that's the way they work um, you know or there's the traps that <laughs> this is not my favorite you catch Andy. them or there's the glue traps on it so there's all sorts of different traps and so forth with the I'm old sweating with now. the old wooden ones yeah this the, looks like cheese but it's not well but it's self baited so it has the scent to it so you don't have to put peanuts or peanut butter or cheese or anything like that on it. So okay. there's wooden traps, snap traps, but you know, if you just want them out of your house, just use the mouse magic and you're all set. And okay. yeah. here's what's left of the studio pen.
I'm seriously disturbed now. Okay. Thank you, Andy. For more help with household chores, visit Andy at Even True Value Hardware in Bethel Park. And of course, watch for his regular segments right here on PTL.